Matt with Rhino Tool and today I'd like to go over what we call dry firing. Dry firing is when the hammer comes down and puts, pushes the anvil back down but then there's not enough pressure weight of the driver to push the anvil back up so that hammer constantly comes down and will strike the buffer system down here and it will damage the lower end. It can damage the sleeve that the anvil rides in, it can damage your O-rings, and you won't know it until you go to have service done on your driver, and you will not be able to remove the anvil out of the lower sleeve because it will be all burred up inside. Dry firing happens when you start your engine up, and you rev the engine up before it's even on a post. You don't want to do that. You know, just let it idle. Dry firing also happens when you're driving a post. If you're just holding on to it lightly, or if you're holding on with one hand, and lock the throttle, or even some guys will even let it go. Let lock the throttle on and let it run by itself. You don't want to do that. That will dry fire. That's the same thing. There's not enough weight. Once that hammer hits the anvil and pushes it down, strike the post, there's not enough weight to push the anvil back up inside in order for the uh, hammer to strike it. And again, you'll damage the O-rings, uh, lower body sleeve, and whatnot. So you need to make sure you have enough downward force on the driver using two hands when driving a post. You don't need to hang on it, but you just need to use a little downward force. Now, if you do happen to dry fire it, You'll notice the engine will change just a little tune of pitch. It'll sound like it revs up, and this will quit hammering. If it does, pick it up off the post and slam it down. That will push that anvil, it will knock it back up inside in order for the hammer to strike it again. And you should be able to continue with normal driving and know the signs of dry firing. That way you can correct yourself and not cost you a lot of money uh, when it comes time for service to replace anything inside. And uh, just want to note, dry firing is not covered under warranty. So I just want to point those out to you, and uh, if you guys got any other questions, feel free to reach out to me at service at rhinotool.com, or give me a call and I'll be glad to help you out, answer any kind of questions you might have, and see what we can do for you. Thank you.